didn't I just open this? Suddenly got locked up. Eh, I guess Eggman beefed up security four days later. Oh well. Let's press on this again, and press on that again. We've opened up again. Heyo people, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. I am Whiteblade Zero, and if you don't know me, I don't blame you. Last time we went through Lost World, went to a strange area that was apparently on fire, and something that looked, and had found something that looked very much like the Master Emerald. Met up with a strange tribal girl, apparently, although I'm not sure if it was an actual meetup. And now we found Eggman in this base, going after him in Sonic's final stage, Final Egg. Very appropriately named, if I say so myself. Okay, light speed attack does have some uses, but not completely. Okay, watch out for these guys, they can actually deflect your attacks, and if you're caught under that beam, then you're pretty much caught until you escape. If, the, if you get caught in that thing, they'll charge right at you and then go for it, and you know, try to attack you. They're annoying buggers, I'll say that much. I don't know why I'm bothering picking up these, um, these, um, animals here, because at this point, unless you were to exit the stage before clearing, we can't go back to the Chow Gardens right now, so the next time we enter the Chow Garden, really, it's going to be with a different character. And, okay, seriously, am I really having that hard a time against the, against this, those enemies? Yeah, final egg, it is the toughest level with Sonic. And by far the longest, so don't be surprised if you see any screw-ups here. That Let's Play curse can really bite you, that is for certain. These sections here, it gets pretty finicky, I'll say that much. What with the finicky controls and all that. How many times have I said finicky in this LP? Eh. It'll probably keep on keeping on. Now for Area 2, we have a remix of the Cha of Chaos's battle theme, which I failed to mention during the Chaos 6 battle as pretty much a brand new theme entirely. That just shows how intense Chaos has gotten in that new form. There will be another time where I'll actually show more of Chaos 6, but not this time. Or at least... Well, I can't now, because it's already a bit too late for that. Feeling I might have just screwed up here. Yeah, I'm right back here again. Well, I guess this is what you get for trying to go for a one-up. How I've been dying lately, I sure could use it. Luckily, this area isn't too bad. But considering it's the final level for Sonic, yeah. Expect a lot coming your way. A lot more precision and a lot of enemies, obstacles, you name it free one-up right there. Service in this area feels kind of automatic. Like you're not controlling Sonic here except by moving forward. Alright, hit this switch. We move on. Technically we're supposed to go down there, but don't think jumping down is going to help. That'll count as a death. Yes, we have to go the long way. Whoops. Alright, not yet. I don't think that hammer can actually hurt you. I think it's just there as a, an obstacle to block your jumps. Mighty pesky, isn't it? And huh. Homing attack has its uses, alright. Not all useful, but it has uses. And of course, with the final stage for Sonic comes one final battle. Chances are it's going to be Eggman again in the new machine he may have. Which has led me to that comment I mentioned before in the last mm, couple episodes ago. How the light speed attack can deal some double damage to Chaos. It's apparently meant to do double damage to all bosses, but I only found use for it for Chaos 6. No other boss in the game I found use for. I mean, with Chaos 4, there's really no place to charge it except on the lily pads, and. Well, what are the odds that you'll be close. It'll be close enough to Chaos 4 that you'll actually be able to you know, do some damage. And as for Chaos 1, I mean Chaos 0, well, 
we can't really fight Chaos Zero with a light speed attack until, like, later on in the game. And then there's the Egg Hornet. Again, no real time to charge that up. So really... So, yeah, really, the only use light speed attack has for me is Chaos Six. No other boss. That's why I say I stand by my point of it not being that helpful, but it does help clearing out enemies and stages, so... It does have a use that way. HGR stacking up ring rings and one-ups in this stage, so... Don't be afraid to explore in places you can explore. Whoa, that was a close one. I thought I actually landed on the pipes, but I didn't. You'd be surprised what you can run in what you can actually walk on here. Alright, coming up, we got a ton of enemies here. They won't spawn animals, but you can destroy a whole lot of them with a light speed attack, and I wish I could see what I'm doing. Wow, I cleared out almost all of them. No matter how many you destroy, they'll just keep coming back, so... Yeah, don't bother trying to deal with them... a lot. Just... I would just clear them up that one time, and then you're good. Alright, this area... Ooh, mama. Make sure you go for all the fans, and I failed at it. Alright, so I lost all those rings again, and lost all of the... Wait a minute, did I just see an item box? Uh, yes, I did. A worthless item box that was apparently a trap. Well, that was worth it. That was just beautiful. So gain more lives just to lose more lives. Story of my life, I guess. But don't worry, we'll probably get them back somehow. Yeah, there was a run power up there, but there's really no need for it, so... Yeah, I'd say just skip it for the time being. Yeah, light speed attack can be a little bit finicky, I'll say that much. There are some item boxes back there, so don't be afraid to get those. We got these guys again. You just did the homing attack, they'll be destroyed as normal, but... Just running into them without attacking? They just... Self-destruct, apparently. Apparently, they're sensitive to touch. I don't get it either. Yeah, I clearly missed it, but luckily they got some extra spots here, and I'm glad those rings still followed us. And here we are. There's actually an alternate area to go, but I already went right past it, and... I'm really not in the mood to take any alternate routes right now, so... Honestly, I can't even tell if it's even a shortcut or not. But, yep, we got more of these guys again, and that was really worth it. They'll just keep coming after you, so... Yeah, don't bother trying to fight them. And nice use of the homing attack, bud. There is a secret area. Let's get this thing to cooperate. I didn't get it. Alright, this time! Nope. You can get up here. You really can, I ain't joshing ya. I ain't joshing. And my name ain't Josh. Electric Shield's kinda ruining it, but yes, those are rings shaped as Sonic. Or rather, as Sonic's head. You want to remember this for later. Trust me, you thank me later. Alright, I'm sticking to the main route again, and where the heck did those guys come from? And yes, they're apparently dolls made of Sonic Tails and Knuckles here. Very goofy ones, and for some reason you can destroy them. They don't do any damage, they're just there to be there. Okay, another area where the electric shield is needed, and it's gonna be a mess. Come on! All right, they're all destroyed. Timing's gonna be a little bit tricky here. All right, got it. Final egg clear. And with this, we're going into the final battle. 
Get ready, folks. It's gonna be a Lulu. And I don't mean little Lulu. I just mean a Lulu. Yeah, not bad. Here we go, the final battle with Sonic, Egg Viper. This is a tough battle, folks. Do not take it lightly. Gather the rings on the left and right side. When he jumps up, jump high so you can avoid the lasers. Those things can hurt. Alright, let me check this. Yep, I knew it. The light speed attack is useless here. Even if you go for it, you're just gonna fall right off, so... Yeah, light speed attack, do not use it here. This is a long battle. So do not expect it to be easy. And yes, now you know where that meme came from. And it just keeps going. Don't think you can just stay still and jump. That doesn't work. Watch out, he's gonna fire another big laser. When he does, run! That thing has a huge blast radius. Now for this. And that was a big failure. Big failure. I'm already doing pretty bad and... When I was a kid, I was stuck on this boss for a long time. Now the... Now I'm actually able to do it pretty easily, and yet this time... I'm pretty much making myself look like a rat. See what I did there? Luckily this time it's pretty simple. But the next time... Eh. Guess I'll just wait until he's fully extended out that tail. Alright, here he comes with that laser again. Time to am, Scray! All right, again, light speed attack not useful here. You gotta hurry and take, get him to that area, otherwise he'll fire a big attack. I'm not sure how big it is or what it can do, but I'm sure it can hurt. Just try and make sure you get to there before he's able to fire it. Speaking of fire, I like how it light, lights up, lights up the whole screen. Or whole arena. Alright, so far so good. You can tell he's got a huge life bar. But like I said, don't don't rely on the light speed attack. Useless. Now we now he's coming into our level. Just keep swerving left and right and you'll avoid that laser. Just make sure you move forward while doing so. Otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble. Maybe not big trouble, but you'll take a hit. That's the last thing you want on this battle. Seems pretty repetitive, but believe me, the more damage Eggman takes, the more desperate he'll get. Take this, for example, and now I'm going to try the attack again. You know, it's kind of against my own advice. Yeah, that did not do double damage. So I guess that only works with Chaos 6. Now Eggman's really desperate, he's destroying half of the arena. And destroying more as we go. So just watch out for those things as they come, and then, once you're on them, go for the... 
attack. It's a near miss. He's got one more hit to go. And he's getting awful close here. I think he destroyed two that time. Actually, Eggman, I got away with it. It's you that's not getting away. But it ain't over yet. Watch out! He's up to something. He gets to this, move! And that's it. The Egg Viper is done. Sure what they say. Cool guys don't look at explosions. I am so using that pose for the thumbnail. So, that was Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Story Mode. Yep, we've got more playable characters, so we've got up so we've got more of the story to uncover. That's right, more of the story. We've only seen Sonic's side, but now we've got the other five to take care of. Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Big, and Gamma. It's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. And as for each credit sequence, we get these pre-made um, snapshots here, they're not my own. And the theme of the character plays. In this case, it doesn't matter. That's Sonic's theme in this game, and also in Adventure 2. But the, but the theme in Adventure 2 was done by was done by a different group, and in my opinion sounds a sounds a lot different than this one. If I were really to compare the two versions of the song, this one, this version here, is my preferred style. It's not over in like two minutes, and well, I can understand the words a lot better, and maybe even sing along if I wanted to, despite being tone deaf. So, so far this has been exciting. And there's not really much for me to talk about during these credit sequences. I usually save those for like the very last credits or whatever. I suppose I could talk about the individual playthrough itself, and... Well, did have a few embarrassing moments, but that comes with a Let's Play, I guess. And it, uh, and it really doesn't help that I haven't been Let's Playing in so long, you know. Heck, there are a lot of things I haven't done for a long time. Don't get me started on what it is you really want, it ain't happening. You know who you are. I kicked you out of my house. Well, I gotta say, this was pretty well done, and luckily I knew of those special tricks with Sonic to get through some areas a lot quicker. Both the tornado sections would have been a little better, but eh, that's life, and you learn new things every day, so yeah. Anyway, I stand by my point about the light speed attack not being all that useful, except for Chaos 6. It's okay there. Otherwise, yeah, just more use taking care of a large amount of enemies, and yeah, that's it. Though, honestly, I find the homing attack a bit more fun. So, that's probably why you saw me use that a lot, and I'm saying so a lot, ain't I? I seem to be noticing that lately. I'm just saying it so many times. And on the strange side. Oh, well. In any event... Oh, there's Big again. I don't think I ever saw him in the adventure field. Then again, I never really bothered to look for him. Ow, ow. So, in that event, I suppose I should say next time on Sonic Adventure DX, we will start we will start a different start the game again with a different character. And, well, 
so you can get a different perspective on the story. So until the next time, everybody, I'm gone.